guys. Hope everyone's doing good tonight. I want to try to make snowflakes tonight on this big canvas. It's an 18 by 24. So I'm going to do some blues and silvers. I have some things that I've mixed up. They're not necessarily like, well, the silver and the um, metallic pearl are actually just um, the brand. So this is Master's Touch and it's iridescent silver. These are pretty thick. What I want to try to do is lay down little puddles and I have a balloon that I'm going to use to smash into the canvas and make little um, snowflake designs, hopefully. Smash. And I also have a skewer on hand really just a chopstick but I'm going to use it to try and draw out the edges of my star flakes I mean snowflakes if they don't look enough like a snowflake so that's silver it's master's touch this is um mass I think this is deco art metallic pearl or pearl white metallic pearl it's deco art this one is also deco art and I'm pretty sure it's bright sapphire, bright metallic sapphire. And I did add a little bit of interference um, silver into that one. Okay, and this one is just a mix of all the colors that I got from the last painting that I did. So it's in the previous video. This is really, really pretty. It's like a slate blue kind of color. Super thick, so I might have to thin it out a little. But metallic, shimmery color. And then I made a metallic blue using ultramarine blue and some silver. So this is my dark metallic blue. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm almost out of it, but I'm going to use it, the rest of it for this painting. This is a uh, ultramarine blue and silver mixed together. Okay. And then I also have on hand some interference indigo and interference silver just for the puddles, just for some fun. Okay. Let's get started. I'm excited about this. I did just mix this gray, so it's got a lot of bubbles in it. But I'm going to use a really, really thin coat for this technique because you don't want a lot of paint down underneath where you're going to be pressing the balloon down on the canvas. Um, you want to have like thin paint so that your design stays where you put it. Let me make sure I have all my paint mixed in. There's a lot of air in here, so I'm going to have to torch it a couple times, uh, like 12, probably, when I say a couple. Okay, got that ready. Never actually used this little blue thing to spread paint, but I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't work. It's kind of heavy, so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to spread it with this, probably. This canvas was really loose. I'm hoping it's not too. Looks like it might be okay. If your canvas is ever loose, you can always take just a little bit of water and spray the back of it just real lightly inside here. Make sure that you get in your corners where it's going to be not as taut, not as tight. And um, then dry it with your blow dryer and it'll just tighten up. I think this is still tight from when I did it earlier. It's tight enough for me to use it. So let's go. Okay, a lot of air. So I'm going to torch one time in the cup. My poor little blowtorch. 
this is 12 ounces well it's probably more like 11 ounces of paint this is an 18 by 24 canvas but i don't want it thick so i'm going to spread it as much as i can before i start laying down puddles Okay, so balloon smash. I have this balloon, which is not fully um, filled with air because you want to be able to kind of press down on the canvas with it. Spread it out and then lift it up or you want to be able to poke it out and make a smaller little dip. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay, so let's start with our colors. I'm going to put this balloon somewhere where it won't roll into my canvas. I'm just going to lay down a puddle. One more torch because I don't trust this. And then, how about some silver right on top of that? And then some of the sapphire blue. And then some pearl white right in the middle for snow. Now, once you get a puddle, torch it real quick, make sure there's no air in it. And take your balloon and just smash it down.
There we go. That's better. A little bit of blue in there. The blue and the pearl white is really pretty together. Do another one, starting with a lighter blue this time. I'm gonna put the silver on top. We'll do white on top of this darker blue in this puddle. And then the sapphire blue. And some silver on top of the sapphire. Oh, that's pretty. See if I can do that one more time up here. It's a nice, I like this, um, I don't know, I'm just going to call it slate blue. I don't know what color this is, but I really like it. I'm going to put down some right here. Okay, let's see if we can make some of these look more like snowflakes.
Hmm. Maybe a couple of more small ones. I think I want like one more down here with the indigo, the violet, or with the interference indigo. All right, well, there it is done. Those are my snowflakes. They look more like, um, I don't know, kind of like Christmas ornaments or something, but I really like them. I think it looks nice. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And I will see you guys again after the first. And if you like what you've seen here and what you've watched so far, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe it would do me a huge favor it just helps me out a lot if you subscribe and then um hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications whenever i put a new video out and um i will see you guys next time thank you so much for being here i hope you have a very merry christmas and a very happy new year until next time bye bye